welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Waldorf Inspired Roots. If you are new to my channel, you may not have seen a previous video that I did when my best friend and I took our kids on a road trip to California. And that previous video was my Dollar Tree haul and travel activity bags for toddlers um, to help you get through a trip, whether you are traveling by car, plane, train, whatever, um, these travel activity bags work wonderful. Um, however, my family is getting ready to go on a road trip that is quite a bit farther than four and a half hours to California. Uh, we live in the Las Vegas Valley and we are traveling to Texas. So our traveling time is going to be about 20 plus hours um, each way. So quite a bit further than our last trip. So, and with that being said, um, in my previous video, there are some things that I felt worked wonderful, and there are some things that didn't work so great for um, my son or my best friend's two toddlers. So there are a few things that um, we are planning to do a little bit differently this time. So this is an update to that video. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I would love to hear questions and feedback in the comment section below. If you saw my previous Dollar Tree haul and travel activity bags video, there are going to be some things that you'll see that are similar to or the same as in the last video. But because this is such a longer trip, there are many new things. And there's also some things that I hadn't thought of before that we're definitely not going to forget this time. So the first category that I want to talk about are essentials that we definitely don't wanna forget. Uh, if you're traveling, you definitely wanna have these things with you. And they don't, they're not necessarily activities for your toddlers, but they're things that you'll need. The first thing that I went ahead and picked up today um, is a sippy cup. Now, my son is two and a half, he'll be three in September. Um, he doesn't really use sippy cups anymore. He just drinks straight from a water bottle or a normal cup. Um, and so we actually didn't have any of these left. And on our last trip, I wished that I had one um, just because when you're in the car, you need something that is no spill. So I did go ahead and pick up a sippy cup. So that's great. Even if you have slightly older toddlers or you know four or five year olds, these are wonderful for not spilling in the car. Now the next thing, my son is also potty trained, but on the road trip, I did decide to put him in a pull up he does wear pull-ups to bed, um, but he's potty trained throughout the day. But I did put him in a pull-up so that just in case we couldn't quite make it in time, um, you know, he wasn't completely wet and soaking through, you know, onto his car seat. So these are great. But there is another option if you don't want to do that. You can bring a potty chair with you. I know OXO has a really good one. Um, you know, there's there's actually many brands that fold out and you could just put a bag in it. Uh, some places sell the bags or you can just use a grocery bag or, you know, the small trash bags. Now, the next thing that we definitely don't want to forget are baby wipes. I completely forgot. Thank goodness my best friend remembered um, for our last trip. But a big thing of baby wipes is amazing. If you are you know going through a drive through um, you can wipe off any you know any messes or anything like that these are wonderful <laughs> for a car ride um, another thing that i don't have right here but we always have on us is hand sanitizer and again it's a way if you're not able to go into um, you know somewhere to wash your hands you can sanitize your hands before eating the next thing that i have here was in my previous video and it is a cutting board that I did get at the Dollar Tree. Um, I like this one in particular because it has this cutout, which is a good handle. Um, but this is kind of a perfect size for a toddler. It honestly could have been slightly bigger, but these worked fine. Um, but it's a cutting board that they can set on their lap. So if they're coloring, they have a hard surface to color on or any other activities. Um, another idea that 
you could do is to use a cookie sheet or you know um, something that is you know has a little bit of a lip on the sides that way if they're doing something it's not going to roll off um, we're still just going to use this but that is another idea that you could do the next things that i want to show you i kind of put in categories um, this category in particular are books and flashcards i just have a couple books these are just books um, that he happens to like um, i just picked up three we don't you know really need too many more than that this will get us through just fine and then i also have some flashcards so i've got a numbers one and an alphabet one he doesn't know his numbers or his alphabet he can count um he recognizes a couple letters um, pretty much just the ones in his name um but this numbers one also has shapes and the thing that i like about these the reason why i'm taking these are because on the front you probably won't be able to see it in here maybe you can um, but it's like where it shifts so it has the 11 and then it has 11 um, ice cream cones it says the name of it it has a picture on the back but they're very colorful and very fun and so my son will love these and then there are also shapes shapes and colors are something that my son is working on and he is getting it but i think mostly because of the you know the shifting effect and things it's an interesting colorful thing for him to look at and he will love these at dollar tree i had these in the last video and they were a hit so i'm i went ahead and picked them up again um they have different brain buster card games and there's just different pictures i have a dinosaur one and outer space that's the two um, categories that are my son's favorite right now mostly outer space um, but he does love dinosaurs oh and the other thing that i wanted to say the reason why i choose to go to dollar stores or you know get things that are very inexpensive is because all of the toys if you've seen my other videos you know that we're a waldorf slash slightly montessori inspired family and you know the, the activities that we have for my son fall into those categories they're mostly natural materials mostly wooden silk not you know natural materials so um with that being said when we go on a trip um i personally don't want to take anything on a trip that we're not okay losing um it's more often than not a good majority of the things that you take on a trip are going to be lost or dropped or um you know thrown out by accident or whatnot so everything that i take i want it to be something that i'm okay if it doesn't come home if it ends up you know missing i'm okay with that so that's why i choose dollar store they're new toys they're exciting for my son he doesn't typically you know have these all of these things and so it's something that he um will have interest in for at least a bit of time um, and then if they're lost, that's fine. So the next category, um, I actually have a lot of things in this category. So this first thing, these are actually from Ikea and they're very inexpensive and they're just little finger puppets and he likes puppets in general. The next one, I just picked up a little tube at the Dollar Tree. They have little, you know, little dinosaurs and the tube comes with like six or I think there's six here um, and I'm not sure if I mentioned it already but this category that I'm showing you now are all toys and manipulatives so the next thing that we have here um, you can find at the Dollar Tree and it's just little army men and then there's this little plane and it's the typical little green army men my husband's family are all military and so um, my husband thought that this would be fun so that would be a good pretend play one now the next thing that i have are just some hot wheels cars you can get these at the dollar tree uh, these ones i think some of them were my teenage sons when he was little and then the other ones were just acquired um, not sure where the next thing that we have I actually found in the target dollar spot and they are just little wooden figures um there's you know several little astronauts and then there's also a rocket ship there's an alien and a robot another astronaut and so these are again just for pretend play and i believe they were a dollar in the dollar spot at target 
maybe there were three dollars i can't remember um but either way inexpensive the next thing i made and this was in my previous video so i'll just show you really quick but they're the giant or the jumbo popsicle sticks and i bought the velcro dots all of these things can be found at the dollar tree um so i put the rough side sided velcro dot on one side and the um, softer side on the other side and every popsicle stick has one and they can build with them and build you know little um shapes or whatever they want and so it's just a building toy the next thing that i'm going to share with you was in my previous video as well um so i just have a couple pipe cleaners now the last time that we did this though i cut the pipe cleaners in half so that they could so that all the you know kids could make them into bracelets and that was fun but i think the kids really more so enjoyed you know stringing the straws onto it and so this time i just left them whole that way there's more space to string and last time i had cut uh, rainbow straws that I just got off of Amazon I had cut but I had left the bendy part of it out and so those that's the parts that I have now and I have more straws and I could cut more but instead of cutting more I thought that I would just you know use the ones because it can be you know dual purpose where my son can use them you know to to thread on or he can play with them by you know spreading them out and things like that. So kind of dual things he can do with it. And we had them left over. So instead of them going to waste, I thought it would be perfect. Now the next thing is something that we actually have for um, the preschool kids that I watch. And it's actually an activity we've only used a few times, but they love it. So what it is, is a geo board that has the little pegs and then the rubber bands can be spread onto you know the different pegs to make different geometric shapes or you know um, whatnot with that and so i've got a bunch of the rubber bands and one tray the next thing that i have here i did find at the dollar tree and it is a little shapes puzzle and it, it's wooden and it has little wooden pieces um you know that you can put in the different spots so it's a little puzzle again it was a dollar no big deal if the pieces get lost um, but my son loves puzzles right now, so I thought that would be perfect. The next thing is just a little fun toy that I found. Um, this was also at the Dollar Tree, but you can squish it and it's got like air inside of it. So it kind of makes it poof up and then it's also very stretchy. Um, and so it's just a fun little, you know, tchotchke toy. The next item is something that I made. I just used construction paper and markers and I colored red, yellow, green, and blue. And then I did go ahead and laminate it. And then I have these um, primary colors, one secondary color, the green, <laughs> but um, they're just little clothespins that we've had for a while, but you can find them on Amazon. And so he gets to go through and try to match up, um, you know, what colors go together. Now the next item that I have is one that we have had for a very long time um, and you can find it second hand at you know Goodwill or Sabres or whatever you have locally that is a second hand store oftentimes you will find these but it's just Duplos or you could buy you know new sets um, they've got small sets that are pretty inexpensive that are maybe 20 pieces or something um, but I did give them one of the slightly larger you know things to build on and then I just put in eight of the two by four <laughs> and then I gave him eight of the two by twos um, and I didn't give him any of the extra pieces or anything um, I just gave him pieces that we have so many duplicates of we probably have hundreds of these um, so I don't care if these get lost either now the next item that I'm going to show you is basically like a pinball machine um, it is by shilling so um, not quite as inexpensive but i'm still okay with it if it does get lost um but they do have these surprisingly at the dollar tree um they're not the shilling brand but they it's this pretty much the same thing um but yeah it's just a little pinball that you pull the trigger and um you know try to score my son just loves you know the sounds and things he obviously can't add to see what his score is or anything but this is a fun little hands-on game the next thing I have is from the Dollar Tree. I did go ahead and get him a guitar and it does 
sort of make, you know, make noise. Um, but I feel like it's not such a loud or annoying noise that will get annoyed super fast. <laughs> uh, but when you are all in the car, musical instruments might not be your best friend, but we did go ahead and get them one. The next thing that I have, I ordered off of Amazon and it is the World of Eric Carle Magnetic Characters. It has 40 uh, magnets and four scenes. And so when you open this up, it has these cards. They're fairly thin, but they are, um, you know, glossy laminated little things. And then when you put this on here, and then it's got all the little magnets that will stick on, and it's all the world of Eric Carle. So if you've read any of the, um, you know, the Eric Carle books, it's the characters from those. And so, you know, we've got the grouchy ladybug, we've got the caterpillar, the dragonfly, um, the brown bear book, I forget the exact title. We've got Mr. Seahorse, so it's just all those characters. And they are magnetic, so slightly less chance that they'll get lost um, or misplaced. But if they do, it comes with 40 of them. I'm sure we won't miss one or two. <laughs> the next category of toys that we have, um, arts and crafts or anything artistic. Um, and so that includes, I have two of the Water Wow by Melissa and Doug. These are quite fun. We have a dinosaur one and then one that is animals and each page is like a different type of animal. Um, but basically it has this little pen. Let me take it out so you can see it. <clears throat> and so basically it unscrews and inside it has you know, a reservoir, and I do actually have water in here, so I'm not gonna tip it too far, but it has a hole and a reservoir, and you put water in it, and then you can screw it back on, and then the water comes out, and I'll show you what it does. When you, um, when you put it on your paper, it's just water, so the mess is, I mean, it's not really gonna make a mess, but even if water spills, it's water, um, and it's not a ton, but it'll start to color the page wherever the water hits. So when you're done doing the whole page, you know, it will all be colored and it'll be a scene. Now, when they dry, it goes back to um, being all light like this. So once, you know, once you color it with the water, it starts to, you know, have color. And like I said, once it dries, it goes back to being white. So it's reusable over and over again. This one my son has had for a very long time. It still is in great condition and um, works wonderfully. And this other one is a new one. So uh, he'll be really excited to get a new one of these. The next thing that I have is just a little mini uh, dry erase board. And then I have a little mini um, eraser. And so he can just you know, color on it and, you know, erase it away. Now this, if you have kids in the back and there's no adult back there or, or older child to kind of supervise, you may or may not want to hand them markers. <laughs> um, but you know, because they may drop it or whatnot, but I personally have, you know, a 15 year old and my dad who will be in the back and can help supervise a little bit with that activity. Another thing that I have is just a sticker sheet and a piece of, well, a half piece of construction paper folded in half to make like a sticker book. Um, and I have two of these because it's 20 plus hours each way, so there and back. So if we give them one on the way there, we probably wouldn't give them the other one until the ride home, but there's two of those. Another book that I have that was actually given to me by somebody, um, it's just an ABC alphabet sticker book and the stickers are supposed to be reusable. I don't know how true that is, but reusable sticker books can be found at the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. But here are the stickers, they're in the middle, and then it just has, you know, all the letters and it'll have different things that coordinate with that, or, you know, uh, that begin with that letter. And they have to try to match the ones that, um, you know, are missing. And this is what they would choose from. So that's a cute little book. Now. Again, my son doesn't really know the alphabet and he doesn't know beginning sounds yet. He's two. Um, but, you know, my older son or my dad can tell him, oh, that one looks like it might be a bear. Or what do you think that looks like? What do we think it is? Can we guess? And if he doesn't guess, they can, 
you know, uh, tell him what it is and he can find that picture. And so for him, it would be more of a vocabulary thing than an ABC thing. But the fact that they are reusable stickers, um, you know, if that's true, then he can go on and use it later when he does know the alphabet as well. The next thing that I have is this sticker activity pad. Um, I have two of these actually. Um, so I've got uh, one with a cat, a cosmic cats and other galactic things. So it's outer space cat and random donuts. I have no idea. Um, and then I've got this one that is sloths love llamas. And so it just has some really cute, you know, sloth and llama pictures in this one, whatever the theme is. Um, and then on the front, there is a couple sheets. I believe it's four sheets or something of stickers. Yeah, there's like four sheets of stickers. Um, and so he can have fun with the stickers or the coloring. Now, again, because I'm trying to do some things, you know, different in each thing, this one, I had these little pips markers and I just put 10 colors. I tried to go with, you know, different colors of the rainbow and then added on uh, some other ones. So we had a good variety, um, but you could use any sort of markers. The Dollar Tree certainly has several different kinds of markers you could do as well. I just used ones that we already had though. Now in the next one, I went ahead and picked up an eight pack of cosmic crayons. So he's very familiar with coloring with crayons, um, but he definitely loves the uh, crayons that, you know, have something special about them. So we buy them on occasion, just as sort of like a specialty thing, whether it be glitter crayons or whatever. This time I picked up the cosmic crayons. So it's still coloring, but it's with a different medium. In the last video that I did, I did have this same um, little notebook and it's just blank little white um, pieces of paper and it's just a little notebook with a cute little design that is from the Dollar Tree and so is the pen. Last time I had the pen with all the different colored ink that you push down, um, you know, and it has multiple different colors. Um, this time I picked out this little fun pen because the 4th of July is coming up and um, it's like the little Kush ball. And so just any fun pen, anything that's different than what they typically would use for anything and they will be super excited about it. The next item I did also find at the Dollar Tree and it is one of the little magnetic write-on. This one in particular is by Etch-A-Sketch um, Doodle. It's just a tiny one, um, but you write on it and then you can erase. So this one is great, no mess uh, whatsoever. You don't have to worry about crayons melting or anything like that if they do get dropped. The next thing I picked up at the Dollar Tree is a pop-out pack and it includes three pop-out characters, one sticker sheet, four crayons. They always have these at the Dollar Tree but they have a bunch of these little party packs or this you know the pop-out packs that have you know stickers and coloring activities and whatnot and when you open it it does have a Ziploc um, you know thing up here so you, that you can reseal it in there um, to help things not getting lost or to put them away when you're done, which is nice. The next thing that I have is partially from the Dollar Tree and partially something that I had. So this um, three-in-one activity pad has construction paper. I think it has like three different colors of construction paper. And then it also has some drawing paper that is thinner and it's white. Um, you could use this for like tracing. It's very thin and then it just repeats. Now the thing that I'm including with this is these little stencils that we already had. Um, I'm including eight, but we have a whole kit. They're just little stencils. Um, so this is really good for, you know, hand-eye coordination. It's just got little animals. Um, you can find stencils just about anywhere, probably at the Dollar Tree as well. I didn't look because I already had some, but the medium that I'm using for that are these little tiny colored pencils. These are so cute. There's eight of them. I got them in classic colors um, at the Dollar Tree, but they did also have pastel ones, which had pinks and, you know, the pastel versions of these, which are really cute. So I thought that, that would be a perfect activity. Now, this next category is definitely the one that I um, wasn't thinking for our last road trip that we went on and wish I had some of these things. When we went to California, part of our trip, it had gotten dark and we had, I think like 
two hours left or maybe an hour and a half left of driving before we got to where we were going. And because it was dark, some of the activities that we had brought like coloring and you know, some of the little action figures, the kids couldn't see them. And so they, you know, we couldn't even have them play with them. And so the only thing that we had to do was pass back our phones, tablets, you know, whatever. And so this time I wanted to make sure that I included things that glow in the dark or um, light up in some way. And so I, at the Dollar Tree, I found this, which I'm so excited about. It is a light bright. And because it was a dollar, uh, you know, who cares if the little pegs get lost? I'm sure that these will all be lost before our trip runs out, but you put the little pegs in and they light up. It takes two AA batteries. It does have a drawer up here that you can put the um, pegs in. However, when you tip it upside down, the drawer comes open. So I didn't want to risk that <laughs> um, and have them spilled everywhere. So I put the pegs in a Ziploc bag. Um, I do have some of those smaller like pill um, pouch things um, that these would have probably fit in better. However, because my son is two and a half, I thought that that might be a little uh, trickier for him to actually get his hand in to get them. So I did put them in this snack size Ziploc bag even though there's tons of room, but I felt like it would be easier for him to get them in and out of. Um, so because that glows in the dark, it's something that he can certainly play with when it's dark. The next thing, I found this at the Dollar Tree, and it is just a ball that has the little glitter in it and some or stars, but then when you hit it, it lights up. I thought it would be kind of fun. He can just kind of hit it and you know just kind of roll it or throw it around, but it does light up, which will be fun at night. The next item we already had, but it's a little mini Simon Says. And so when you push it, it lights up. Um, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn it off if I can, which I cannot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does have some sounds and it does light up. This was actually my 15 year olds, but we thought it would be a perfect glow in the dark thing that we could take along with us. The next thing I haven't opened yet, and I don't want to, uh, because I'm hoping, <laughs> of course that's gonna go up, sorry. Um, I haven't opened this and I don't want to until we're ready to use it, but it's just a ball and um, it glows in the dark similar to the way I also have these um, glow in the dark necklaces that you just snap them and then they glow for, um, you know, hours. It just says last for hours. I don't know how many hours, but we'll probably do one at a time that way um, each you know, each way is gonna be a very long trip. We'll probably have morning hours and evening hours that, you know, he'll wanna play with glow in the dark things. So um, that's that. We have necklaces as well. And that's the same thing as the ball. Once you throw it and it, like once you open it and you throw it, it'll glow. Um, this one says it lasts for hours as well. So that can be fun. Now the last glow in the dark thing that I have, I'm not sure if you've seen these before, but it is called a moonlight. Now, um, I'm using my phone to film, so I can't show you, but it has this little clip on the back and um, it has like a little bullseye and you download the app, it's called Moonlight, M-O-O-N-L-I-T-E. And when you clip it on the back, it'll show you in the app where to line up the bullseye. And then you put in the little discs and they just slide in. Sorry, let me do that so that you can see. So it just slides in. And then basically it's a story that projects. And when it projects, um, you could do it on the back of a seat or on a ceiling or anything. And it projects a picture. Um, I bought the set that came with the Moonlight. Um, and then it also came with five stories. And then I bought the case separately. I can link them below, but they are from Amazon and the case has, you know, slots that they fit in. So the image will project onto, you know, whatever flat surface that you want to project it onto. And then I can't remember, we haven't used this in a while actually. Um, the last time we used it was on a camping trip, so it's been a minute. Um, but you either read the story and it'll have the words on there or it might read it to them. I can't remember. Um, but we got the Eric Carl. So it's got brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? 
um, Mr. Seahorse, um, The Very Busy Spider, um, The Very Lonely Firefly, and The Very Hungry Caterpillar. There are a bunch of different sets that you can choose from. They have uh, many different stories. I think they have Goodnight Moon, they have Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, they've got some Mickey Mouse or Disney ones, um, just a bunch of different stories and you can find a bunch of those. And a lot of their starter sets are range, they're usually about 35 bucks or $39 and you get the Moonlight and five stories. Um, so it's not too bad. And then I think individual stories, if you want to expand your collection, are like $7.99, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a little pricier, but it is something that you can use, you know, to, for bedtime stories or anything like that. And it's kind of a fun way to read a story. Now, the last couple things that I have here are not for the car, um, but I did want to share them. If you are going on a trip, it is a good idea, in my opinion, especially for road trips, um, to bring a couple outside toys. So if you stop at a rest stop to stretch your legs or something like that, I like to have bubbles with me. Um, and that way it's a very inexpensive, um, doesn't take up a lot of room, but it's a fun thing that they can do um, to be a little entertained, you know, at a, you know if you're outside or um, even if you stop at, you know, a restaurant or something, in the parking lot, they can blow a few bubbles to kind of get out some of their energy before you get back in the car. Um, also, at the hotels that you stay at, um, they oftentimes will, you know, have areas that, you know, kids can run around or, you know, a pool area, you could blow bubbles or whatnot. And then I also just have a ball. It's just a little inexpensive ball. You can get these at the dollar, you know, Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. If you are going to a hotel that has a pool this is something that you can use and throw it around in the pool as well uh, we typically stay at marriott hotels um, and so they all pretty much if i'm not mistaken have pools so that will be fun the next thing can be used in a pool or the bathtub if you have little ones um, it's a good idea to have bath toys if you're going to be gone for a while we're going to be gone for uh, about a week and a half a little over a week and a half and so I just have a couple pool toys here these ones are B by B toys now um, we have I have a video out about bath toys that we have and um, I don't bring those because the ones I have I absolutely love it's mostly green toys and Pluey and some other brands and you can go ahead and, and watch that video if you want to see what we have for bath toys um, but these ones are old bath toys that were still fine, but they had made their way out to the pool. And so they're a little more roughed up and things. Um, and so we just left them out for the, you know, at the pool. But these will be fine if we lose them or forget them at a hotel. No big deal. I don't really care. Um, but that way he has some toys for the bath. I did also order some little uh, squirting toys which we don't like here because I am always afraid um, you know the squirting toys can get mold and things inside of them um, so it's not one that we'll probably hang on to but we got these little um, Finding Nemo squirter toys from Amazon they haven't arrived yet um, but we're gonna take those and then when the trip is over I'll probably just toss those so I don't have to worry about mold but it'll be a fun little toy that he can have in the pool or in the bathtub as well the other thing that I have here, you can use this in the car, um, but we, my husband was like, absolutely not. <laughs> um, and I, I agree. Um, but I just have a little rolling pin, and then I just grabbed five of our little um, cookie cutters that we have in our Play Doh bin, um, just different fun ones. And then I've got um, all the different colors of the rainbow of um, the little tiny Play-Dohs. Now, they have sets at the Dollar Tree right now, and every time I've gone there, I've seen them, but they have little sets that come with a little tiny rolling pin or a couple of the little plastic Play-Doh knife things or 
um, you know, different toys that you can play with and like two or three cookie cutters. They, and it'll come with a couple, I think two or three of the small things. And so you can get those for a dollar, which I think is fantastic. We already had some, so we're just using the ones that we already have. Um, but yeah, those are at the Dollar Tree right now. And that is everything that we're gonna take. So um, as far as toys go, even though these are for, you know, the, the road trip or the car ride itself, um, obviously we'll be bringing that bag into the hotel and these he can play with while he's in the, you know, while we're in the hotel as well. But this is all the toys that we're gonna be bringing with us on this 20 plus hour each way road trip. And there are enough things here. I believe I counted them and there's like 42 things here. And the way that I plan out how many things to bring, I try to have one different thing per hour of driving. Um, and then we also will have, you know, the iPad, um, you know, with some downloaded movies and things for, you know, extra time. I, I know for sure he'll obviously sleep during part of that time as well, but I try to plan however many hours we'll be driving one different thing, you know, per um, hour. And that seems to work out perfect. We usually have a couple things left over that we didn't get to. Obviously a two and a half year old isn't going to last for a whole hour with one thing, but that seems to be a perfect amount of things in combination with stopping, you know, eating, the iPad, sleeping, and things like that. So it seems to work out perfect. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe, and I would love to hear questions and feedback in the comments section below. We'll see you next time. Bye!